We humans are smart. We've created some seriously cool stuff, like penicillin, for example, the compass, the wheel, coffee, latte in particular, segways, and those weird shoes that look like socks, but they're still shoes, you know? We've accomplished a lot of good things. Sadly, we've also managed to accomplish some really bad things, like overfishing our seas, the extinction of species, chemical pollution, global warming, and land degradation. In short, things that seriously puts our future in jeopardy. And all of this created by human hand. How is it that we've created so many cool and important things, but are yet to come up with a solution that would ensure our own survival? Well, we believe that those environmental issues can be fought with the same sort of creativity and innovation used when creating stuff like the Segway. And that thing has a name. Resilience. Resilience is a system's ability to adapt to new conditions and evolve by turning negative impact into something positive and innovative. For a society, resilience would refer to its ability of handling crises like political riots or natural disasters. Or for a forest, it could be about its ability to deal with upcoming storms or wildfires. The ecosystem will find its way to turn the attack into something that will actually help it to evolve into something even better. That is resilience. Remember back in the 80s, the ozone layer was rapidly getting thinner and became one of the hottest environmental topics of that decade. The world realized it had to take action, and by inventing alternative solutions, we were able to significantly decrease the use of Freon and CFCs. Today, 30 years later, the hole has begun to shrink and is expected to heal. That too is resilience. Using your creativity in order to transform negative forces into something good. Something that actually could change the future. And the thing is, you can be a part of this. Welcome to Stockholm Resilience Center.